Hey guys. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Today I will tell you about, difference between ribbed rebar, and indentation rebar. So move toward my today's video. Ribbed rebar, and indentation rebar, are two types of reinforcing steel bars, used in construction, to enhance the strength, and durability of reinforced concrete structures. While both types have, deformations along their length, there are some differences in their design, and applications. Ribbed rebar, as the name suggests, has ribs or raised patterns, along its surface. These ribs are typically, evenly spaced along the length of the rebar, and provide a larger contact area, between the rebar and the concrete. The ribs, create a mechanical bond with the concrete, improving the transfer of loads, and preventing slippage, between the two materials. Ribbed rebar, is commonly used in applications, where high bond strength is required, such as in beams, columns, and slabs. On the other hand, indentation rebar, also known as deformed rebar, features indentations, or deformations along its length. These indentations can take different forms. Including, ribbed patterns, twisted patterns, or a combination of both. The indentations provide, increased surface area for the concrete to adhere to, enhancing the bond strength between, the rebar and the concrete. Indentation rebar, is widely used in various construction applications. Including, foundations, walls, and other structural elements. While both ribbed rebar, and indentation rebar, serve the same purpose, of improving the bond between, the rebar and the concrete, the design and dimensions of the deformations may vary. The specific shape, spacing, and height of the ribs, or indentations can differ. Depending on the applicable standards, and requirements of a particular project, or region. In terms of performance, both ribbed rebar, and indentation rebar, provide excellent bond strength, and enhance the structural integrity of, reinforced concrete elements. The choice between the two types, depends on factors. Such as, the specific project requirements, design codes, and regional practices. It's important, to consult the relevant design standards, and specifications, to determine the appropriate type of rebar, to use for a particular construction project. Proper selection, and placement of the rebar, play a crucial role, in ensuring the overall strength, and durability of the reinforced concrete structure. If this video is helpful for you, then, like and share my video, and subscribe my YouTube channel.